Hello everybody. Um, lately my videos have just been update, 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 and I don't really have any finished projects. Well, that's what happens when summer ends. So, here's another update video! Isn't that freaking awesome? Anyway, let's go right into it. Um, I don't remember what I was talking about last video. Uh, well, it was the Orange Mob Works kits, but I don't remember what I updated you, because uh, it's, it's been a long time. But, um, good news for you guys. Da 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 I bought myself a MacBook Pro, which is awesome. Um, why is that good for you? Because now I have some new editing programs that I'm going to play around with. Um, so that's update number one. Also, that camera, um, the webcam on that might actually be a better quality than my iPhone. I'm not sure yet. Uh, so I'm going to experiment with that and pitch out, figure out which to tape with. Um, and eventually I'll be using the flip anyway. Anyway, this is a table full of guns. Um, I'm going to talk about each one of these guns, and then I'm going to end the video. Here we go. Um, well, let's start in an order that makes sense, shall we? This should have been the next video I made, uh, the Orange Modworks Long Strike uh, that I made. Oops, flip the switch correctly. Um, which is very, very cool. Uh, it has the Orange Modworks Stage 1 in it. You will be receiving a video on this, um, and that will be coming soon. So, that's that. Um, next thing is, there's a little bit of backstory to this project. Uh, when I go to Nerf Wars, which is not very often anymore, but I used to go to Nerf Wars weekly almost, like three a month, almost, back in the day. And um, I say that like I've been nerfing forever, like last year and the year before that. But... Um, this, what would frustrate me is I would see people just running around with big glass that they take like, literally, all you have to do is cut the barrel off, put a coupler on it, and it's, it shoots the farthest out of anything. And that kind of pissed me off because it's like you get amazing results for no work, what's the point of modding, you know? Um, so this was kind of a, uh, a tribute to the big blast. And um, yeah. There's a lot of stories that go along with this, so why don't I just show you to it, show it to you. Um, this was a stampede shell that I wasn't doing anything with, um, so I put a big blast in it, and there's a lot that goes along with that. This um, shell, if you can see, don't know if you can tell what this is, but this is the front part of a swarm fire, and I covered the magwell with it, and um, it's very messy because I haven't done any putty work on it. And uh, this was a full-length bike pump that used to come out to here. I disassembled the pump. I used the chop saw, and this is a steel pump, but I have a metal cutting disc. Uh, so I chopped through it. I uh, redid the air seal a little bit, uh, so it was a little easier to easier to use, not to lose. And um, shortened the tubing so it would connect in the back there. Then I uh, cut the handle off and gave it a new handle. Um, so that's cool. And then that attaches to the big blast, which I... Uh, gooped in the tubing, and uh, there's PVC dimensions that uh, raise it down. I drilled through the air restrictor, so there's, or, uh, what am I saying? I drilled through the um, overpressure valve, uh, because the new overpressure valve is uh, the tire valve, um, which does not let out pressure, so this does need an overpressure valve, I'm aware. Um, here's where the problem comes in. This, the dump valve. Uh, this was not the original dump valve that was in here. I put just the normal big bag or the big blast tank in here, and I glued and gooped all around it. And I put the T or the uh, the elbow up here, and then this went to an RSCB at the top, which is huge. And um, here, so this would go. Oops, that has the wrong attachment on it. But that would go there, uh, so it had an RSCB on it. And this would only take two pumps, so I could go one, two, one, two. I have ranges of. 130 feet. <laughs> and it worked perfect until it broke. And I have no idea how it broke. Um, and when I started this project, I was like, you know, I haven't done an air gun mod in a really long time. And doing the, uh, the long Titan was a lot of fun. So let's get back into air guns. Come on. I can do this. And I'll remember why I don't do air guns because they're just freaking, oh my god, I hate air guns. And I'm just re-realizing that all over again. I hate everything about their construction because the, um, the O-ring just wouldn't seal on the dump valve anymore. The, the pulling 
thing that I can't even remember what it's called at the moment because I'm so frustrated. The, the firing pin wasn't bent, it just wasn't going back in correctly. So I cut it out and uh, that was really annoying because it was glued and gooped in. So I had to go in there with the metal cutting disc and cut little rivets so I could get my pliers into the rivets and then peel the tank out just a little bit at a time. And um, this tank was from a salvaged big blast uh, and I cut the tubing and I wired tubing into this tank so this was the new dump valve. And that worked great for about 50 shots and now this one has the same freaking problem. So uh, I don't really know what's going on with it. Uh, I cut this custom trigger for it, which is not attached at the moment, but it goes up into the firing pin and uh, then feeds in there. It's spring loaded and it was freaking awesome and it was perfect while it was working. And now I don't understand why it's not working. I pump it and air just comes out the tube and out the, uh, the thing in the top. I've tried lubing it. I've tried using the air compressor uh, to blow any debris out and it's just not working well. Um, the concept of this was big blast, 134 foot-ish ranges, uh, not hoppered, because I hate hoppers, but uh, RSCB'd, or RISPA'd, and then a swarm fire. 20 shots, fully automatic. How do you go wrong with that? That's just like... I was going to nickname this, and don't get offended, I was going to nickname this the Rape Cannon, because that's just hilarious. You can't... Don't worry about it. Um, so anyway, that ended and it frustrated me, so I built this. Um, this a lot of people have built these... And um, I actually put a coupler in the back on this, uh, which makes it uh, into a stock. Come on, you. And I'm probably going to build a variety of different stocks for it. So that's that. Um, people on the Haven have made these before. They're very nice. Um, it works freaking great when it works. Um, <laughs> that's like everything, isn't it? This is a Schwinn bike pump. Uh, it was like $10. It came out. It's very cool because it locks and then it pops out and it um, pumps like that, yeah. So anyway, this is uh, the Rape Cannon 2.0. No, I'm not gonna be calling it that because I realize that that's offensive, but that's just a term we use on Nerf Haven for anything that's just like way ridiculously overpowered for no reason. Um, so this is tank expanded, <laughs> and uh, if I can figure out how this editing software works, you'll have a uh, 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 close-up, a macro of the internals either in this corner or this corner or one of these corners depending on where I am in the camera. So if I can get that figured out then uh, you're seeing that and if not then I look like a major idiot right now, don't I? But that's not uncommon because I'm on YouTube. Um, I should not have said that. That is definitely being edited unless I get too lazy. But anyway, um, this is tank expanded in the back. I just scooped in a coupler. I took out the overpressure valve. Uh, so it actually uses the tank expansion. Um, and this, I use goop for everything, air guns, and it works amazing. But um, the, uh, the top part around here, around the tubing, just wasn't, doesn't want to seal for some reason. Um, so I did, I did the back multiple times thinking that was the problem. And then I just realized tonight that it was the front of the tubing that wasn't sealing. Uh, so I'm going to let that goop overnight. I actually have like this, uh, this, um, What's it called? Instacure gap filling super glue around this right now, so I'm not going to pump it too much. Uh, but the concept is this pump flips down, which is cool, which gives you a handle, and then you pump it, and then it fires. And um, this will also be using an RSCB. So that's that. This is like the epitome of the most broken Nerf Blast ever. Nerf, Nerf Blast. See what that's doing to me. Nerf blaster ever. It's like so overpowered. So when I see some kid running around with a, uh, a, a hoppered or a choppered big blast, I can just pull this out and be like, BAM! So that's that was the theory behind that blaster. Um, okay. Let's do this one next. I got a Vortex blaster. Uh, I got the Praxis, this one is called. It's a very cool blaster. And I'm sure I'm going to lose them. Wow, I just hit the bullseye like five times. <laughs> this is more accurate than I thought it was. Well, there's no wind in the basement. But um, these are cool blasters. I like these. And uh, yeah, they're cool. Um, I probably won't be re making a review video on these because you can find reviews all over the place on YouTube. Uh, Coop made one. Germ made one. So just go look at theirs. Um, this is cool. I'm probably going to get... Uh, Excuse me for being ignorant and not knowing their names, but uh, the one that's... 
I don't even know how to describe that. It has an internal clip for like six discs. So I'll probably get that one too. Um, I don't have time to screw around with these right now, but they look cool. And uh, they're fun to fire just stop. Very much so. So that's that. These are cool. Go buy them. Um, next thing on the list. This is turning into a very long video, isn't it? And I apologize. And, um, oh well. You can leave whenever you want. It's YouTube. <laughs> There's a guy called uh, Bobo Lolo. Bobo Lolo, I think is how you would pronounce that. Um, link to his channel in the description. He's another YouTube nerfer. Uh, he hasn't posted a lot of content lately, but the stuff he has posted is hilarious. Uh, so go check that out. He's a pretty cool guy. Um, and we were talking about a long shot project he was doing. Now, he's an HVZ player, which means uh, humans vs. zombies. So he's a college student, and he plays humans vs. zombies on campus. Um, and he has a variety of blasters he uses for that. He's a heavy, which means he carries around a, like multiple blasters at a time and just like whips them out on a sling and like pones you with three things at a time, which I think is hilarious. And that's not how I would do it. I just use a stampede, but that's hilarious. So props to him. Um, so he sent me two things to work on, which are uh, two long shots, as you can see. And he wants a mini long shot. Uh, that doesn't use clips, so you can put a, an integration on it and keep it mini, and um, fires stock darts, so he doesn't want a barrel on it. Um, he wants to be able to fire taggers from it. So um, we were discussing how to do this uh, just through text messages, and he built like a, a half version of my breech without the front barrel on it, but the handle is too small, which makes it incredibly difficult to prime. And... Um, He's, there's there's just a few changes uh, that we had discussed that I'm going to make to it. Um, so he gave me uh, these two, and I'm just going to salvage the part from them, the parts from them, and then integrate it, uh, the finished breach, back into this one. Uh, so the theory is either uh, he want, he wants it bolt primed. Um, I'll I'll do the best I can uh, because you know bolt sleds are weak. Um, but he wants it primed with the bolt sled, and then when it's primed back to be able to load it from this cavity he built in the side of the shell, and then he's going to integrate uh, something down here. Or, or I will. I don't know. I have to talk to him about that. And uh, then I'm going to paint pink. <laughs> so that's what he wants. So he gets what he wants, and that's that. Um, is that everything here? Yes. I believe so. Um, also, there's a couple other things I want to talk about, and I'm just going to hold this in my hands while I do, because this is a cool blaster. So, um, things are going to be changing around this channel. This is going to be the last update video for a very long time. Um, well, I shouldn't say that. Update videos will be very infrequent from now on, because I'm realizing when I try to show my videos uh, to, like, my friends... Everything's titled update and I have to end up looking at the dates. I'm like what the hell did I do in this video? I have no idea. So um, I'm gonna stop making videos like this But this is an update and announcement video because I need to explain that so people aren't like well What the hell why did not you do this? I liked this before blah 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 um, So what I'm thinking is um, Infrequent updates when I don't have an actual finished blaster to show you uh, my videos will still be the length they are because the majority of my fans have told me they love long videos um, because I'm evidently very entertaining, which is good. That's a good personal trait. I'm glad people think that because a lot of people think I'm annoying. So that should be it. Um, anyway, what was I going to say? You will have finished blaster videos uh, that just talk about like one specific blaster and um, then the video ends. But also, that's going to be an in-depth video on the blaster. Then I'm also going to be doing just demos. Uh, for those of you that have watched Germ's videos, um, it's just like he doesn't talk. He holds up the blaster. He does a panoramic of it, so you see the cosmetics, and then he shoots it a few times, and then he, like, in subtitles or a rolling text bar, he says what's done to the blaster, and then the video ends. So it's like 40 seconds. Um, I'm going to be starting to do those as well because they're very simple, and um, they're more informative. They're not, they're not more informative, but they're, they're easier to watch. Um, so what's going to happen is, say if I was going to be reviewing this blaster, I'd make a video like this where I talk about it for like 6 to 12 minutes, 
and you get like everything, the backstory about this blaster. When I dreamed it up, when I was sleeping and you know thinking about, oh, I'm in school and I need something to hit somebody I don't like. All right, somebody tried to call me and I ignored it and I kept talking and evidently my video thing shut off. So I don't really know where I left off, um, but I'm just gonna start over. Um, I, and I can edit whatever I need to later. Uh, Cause I can actually edit now. Woohoo! MacBook Pros rock, which is running Lion, by the way. Um, anyway, this so I'll make a review video of this and um, like six to twelve minutes and say everything in depth about the blaster, like everything you could possibly ever want to know about it, and then I'll shoot it and then the video will end. And then um, simultaneously, uh, or that same day, I should say, um, I will film a video where I just have the camera pointed towards the target, and then I'll show you the blaster I'm working on, uh, do a panorama on it, and uh, just rotate it a minute so you can see the cosmetics and the paint job. Uh, then I'll either pump it up or prime it and shoot it a few times so you get the idea on how it works, and then the video will end, so it'll be like 40 seconds. Um, those two videos will be on the same blaster, uh, and they'll be uploaded simultaneously. So if I made a video of this, then it'll be me talking about it for 6 to 12 minutes, with, in the corner with a hyperlink to just a, a very quick demo video. And then if you're watching a demo video, it'll just be me demoing it with a corner or with, with a, a hyperlink in the corner to the in-depth part of the project. So if you just want to see, if you're not that interested in the idea of the blaster and how it was made, you can just watch the demo video. Whereas if you're interested in all the intellectual concepts behind it and how it was actually constructed, then you can watch the longer video. So it's, um, I think it's great because it gives you a choice on what you want to do and helps to widen and happy my audience, um, satisfy my audience, I think would be a, a better word choice there. Um, so that's that. Just trying to do some, some nice things to this channel for you guys. So I will see you next video. Duh. What's, why did I say that? See you next time. Hello everybody, blah, blah, blah. we're starting that over. Hello everybody, um, I don't like that one either.